This week, we're putting the spotlight on Green Spot. So, let's check it out. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt and I'm the Whiskey Nerd. I'm Rose and I'm the Whiskey New. And this week, like we said, we're putting the spotlight on Green Spot. So let me get it into the glass and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Now, I did actually already review this whiskey mm -hmm. a while ago. Now, back at the start of my channel, back during the pandemic, I had a oh, terrible haircut. The hair! <sighs> Let's not relive that. Let's <laughs> not relive that. Then you were still behind the camera, so you yeah. didn't actually give any tasting notes at the time. And it is no. one of those classic mm -hmm. Irish whiskies. It generally features on like the list of the top 10 Irish whiskies to buy because it's a very, very nice approachable whiskey. Okay. So I figured now that you're in front of the camera, we'll uh, maybe get some notes from you and see how you think about it. Ooh, okay, cool. But you have tried this before, obviously. Yes. And you have liked it in the past. Oh, so. I don't think I've had it for a really long time, so I didn't even remember it, No, to be we've been trying a lot of newer whiskeys, uh, but yeah, it is one that we do tend to go back to. Cool beans. So tell me about the whiskey. Yeah, so it is a single pot still whiskey, mm. which is the style of whiskey that's unique to Ireland. Yeah. It's made of a mash bill of malted and unmalted barley. Malted okay. barley gives you the kind of caramel, kind mm. of darker, kind of rounder notes. Unmalted barley gives you some spicy notes, kind of creamy, oily texture in your mouth. Ooh. And kind of the two of them combined make for generally a quite a kind of sweet, kind of spicy, kind of like, nice almost floral whiskey with some bit of black pepper notes so it does come through quite nicely it sounds is, like a bit of opposites attract in the it's whiskey definitely a bit of opposites attract the distilleries can play around with the mash bill a little bit to give more spicy or more sweet but generally speaking a lot of them do do go down the road of like 50 50 and i think mm. that's what uh, green spot is it comes from middleton the middleton distillery it is aged for between seven and ten years they never actually Precise. So no that. age statement. It's a no age statement. Whiskey was uh -huh. aged for the most part of its life in ex bourbon barrels before being finished in ex sherry casks. Oh. What's the percentage? It's forty percent. So it's, oh. it is down at the floor. Okay, because I always like a good forty six. A good forty six is quite nice. Now they do have higher proof and cast strength whiskies in the spot whiskey range, okay. but this is kind of the entry level, the kind of beginner spot whiskey. And it does deliver a lot of flavor, even though it is at 40%. So green spot, so you've got more entry level, so it's more like mint spot. Then you've got green spot. Then you've got dark there's, green spot. There's blue spot, which is cast <laughs> There's yellow spot. There's red spot. There's gold spot. Ah, uh, so they change the color. They change the color. So there's no mint spot. There's no mint spot. Okay. They do do, I think, wine cask finishes on these. Oh. There's a green spot that's like been aged in wine casks from California, from Spain, from other places. But we're talking here about the basic green spot. Okay. So let's go in for the nose. Hey. Right. Mm. Oh, it does smell really nice. It's not yeah. harsh on the nose or anything. I get like a lot of sweetness. Yeah, it's very sweet. Caramel up front. A lot of like... Um, oh, what does that remind me of? Well, one of the notes everyone always does get is a green apple. Ah. And it's one of those things you think, oh, green spot, green apple. But it is like a, like a kind of a Granny <gasps> Smith apple. No! No? But yes. Um, no, but yes. Green apple, but with like the caramel sauce on it that you get in the yes. States, like up to uh, like around up to like Halloween. Yeah, like a caramel apple. I could see that, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And some like... Um, I get like vanilla, kind of oh, butterscotch, yeah. toffee. Are you getting any kind of spicy notes? Spicy? I want to say like the lightest hint of pepper, but I really just have a caramel green apple in my head. Right yeah, now. it does lead up with the sweetness. I think the spiciness does come through more on the palate. Okay. But there is a little bit of like kind of cracked black pepper kind of note there, but it is mostly that sweet, the fruity note. Yeah. yeah. I always feel like when there's like a peppery element, I get it more on the finish than the nose. Maybe mm, yes, after you take that breath. Yeah. yeah. Let's taste it. Okay, let's go into the palate. <laughs> Whoa, that's diff. Oh. Yeah. Because there's no real attack of alcohol up front. There's no hit of the ABV because it is down at forty percent. But then you get that spiciness that does come through. I just have to say, like I literally just said, the spicy whateverness usually hits at the end. This hit the front, and then it got sweet at the end. Yeah. So like there's definitely no alcohol burn. If you no. if you maybe were not used to whiskey, you might think that that spiciness is the alcohol burn, mm -hmm. but no, it's that peppery kind of heat, kind of tingly spiciness coming through. Yeah, yeah. And you definitely still get like 
apple in there, the green apple. It's almost like someone put black pepper on a green apple, mm. but like not in a bad way. Not in a bad way, no. Yeah, and um, yeah, as you said, as you go through it, and that's really sweet. You get that lot of sweetness, that ling it's the kind of lingering sweetness, which is more into the finish. Yeah. But on the palate, once that spiciness kind of dissipates out over your palate, yeah. Then you get that sweetness, you get, again, mm. caramel apple, butterscotch, toffee, vanilla. My mouth is like yeah. salivating. I'm getting <laughs> maybe a little bit of nuttiness. Now with sherry casks, you do sometimes get a bit of like almonds or hazelnuts or walnuts, kind of that note, that kind of dried nut note. Oh. And maybe a hint of that, but it's not a huge note. So I'm gonna wait for another sip and see if I can if, determine that. It's hard to tell. I haven't picked out very much nuttiness in whiskeys mm -hmm. in general. Nuttiness is like a very like light note. Yeah, I think it's more. Yeah, it maybe it's just a, a little hint of it. It's not yeah. really a strong. Maybe note. you just have a really refined palate. Maybe have a refined palate, but I think it's more. It does lead up with that sweetness that I'm getting on the palate. Well, with the finish, we'll talk yeah. about the finish in a minute. A little bit of oak, a little bit of wood coming through as I'm oh, breathing. Oh, maybe that's it. Yeah, but so I think one more sip. We're gonna focus on the finish. Focus on what okay. lasts the longest. Okay. Okay. Sweet, Sweet. apple. It's the sweetness of the green apple. Okay. That's what I get. Anything else? No, it's not. No, there's no harsh alcohol finish. It's forty percent, like. It's yeah, it's forty percent. Look, yeah, this, it's easy drinking. This, this whiskey noob here saying forty percent is fine. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas a few months ago you. Ah, sure, it's grand. Yeah. Um, definitely has that little bit of for me like the fruitiness, the sweetness yeah. there lasts. That fades off a bit. Like at the end now, as I'm talking, I've got a little bit of like. Like as if I've had some like black pepper grains oh, in my mouth, I see and that. you get that little not numbing but that kind of tingly feeling. Yeah, a little bit maybe a little bit of toasted oak as well coming through as I'm breathing, as I'm you know going through the whiskey. But yeah. it's definitely sweet and easy to drink. Yeah, for sure. So I can definitely see why this is so popular. It's like quite easy to drink, and there's definitely something. For different people, like it's like a, it really is like an opposite subtract. If you want like a bit of a journey in there between like the sweetness and spiciness, I think this is really good. Yeah, like that's one thing about pasta whiskies because they use the unmalted barley, you do get that um, kind of oiliness, the rich mouthfeel. Yeah. So it does mean the whiskey doesn't feel thin. No. Like some 40% whiskies, when they go heavy into like grain whiskey, you can mm. feel kind of thin. Oh. Like, you, you know, you taste it, kind of goes and just flashes and disappears. Okay. This does have a bit of a linger because of that kind of oiliness in the whiskey and it does help it, I think, punch a little bit more than 40%, but I do like the higher proofs in the spot range. Yeah. So I think that's kind of all there is to say in this re-review. I mean, Green Spot is a very good whiskey. It's definitely a very enjoyable whiskey, so yeah. that's why I chose it for the re-review. Any uh, final thoughts? Um, well, I really like this one. If there are any whiskeys that maybe he did with that pandemic hair that you'd like to see me uh, to review and see what my takes are on it, let us know in the comments below. Yeah, we put out whiskey reviews on Wednesdays. We put out cocktail recipes on Friday, so if you want to see more like that, make sure you hit subscribe. As Rose said, make sure to leave us a comment to let us know what you want us to review in future. Yeah. And we'll see you next time. Let's launch it. Bye bye.